Hey YouTube, how y'all doing? So it's Black Natural 8, and I wanted to make a quick video. Hold on, y'all, I need to turn this volume down. <coughs> I'm back, y'all, but I was trying to turn the TV down since I'm in the living room. And since I've been sick, I've been sleeping in here in the living room, and my little girl is in the bed. And I, I sleep here so I can keep an eye on her because I can't sleep next to her. Not while I'm sick. But y'all know I've been sick for the past three days. Um, I don't I don't know what I call. Um, I haven't had an opportunity to go to the doctor because I don't have anyone that can watch my little girl for me. So kind of have to tough it out, but today I had a setback, um, he set a setback emotional wise, because since my daddy has been in the hospital, no one would give me any kind of information as to what's going on with him, nobody would tell me where he at, um, I called the hospital. Hospital tells me they can't tell me where my daddy is. And I completely lost it. Um, my mother and my sister have been with my father this entire time. And neither one of them has called me to tell me anything about my daddy. And since I've been sick, mind you, I was having a high fever. I was having cold chills. I could not get up and walk. Um, I was weak. I kept feeling like I was going to pass out the whole nine yards. No one came to this house to check on me or my daughter. They didn't call to see if we had anything to eat. They didn't call to see if I needed any help with her. Nothing. Nothing. My husband and my brother have been doing their best to help me. But they work every day. So when they're at work, I'm in this house by myself, sick as a dog, with a six-year-old child. And I cannot even get up to help myself. Nobody cared. Nobody, nobody cared. I was left in this house by myself with my daughter. And I'm still sick. And today, I had a major setback. I completely blew up today. Completely blew up today. When I tell y'all, I'm still learning, y'all. I'm, st I'm still learning patience. I am still learning understanding. I am still learning to take the negative and reach through and see the positive. I really am, and I'm struggling. I'm not perfect, but I'm struggling, y'all. I am struggling because, to me, I don't understand. If my family knows that I'm sick, and no one in my family has even called to check on me, no one in my family has called to check on my child, no one in my family called to say, do you need us to fix anything to eat for your daughter? Do you need us to bring anything for your daughter? Do you need us to make sure your daughter gets a bath? Do you need us? To... Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. And it made me angry. It made me angry. It made me so angry. I'm telling y'all, if it wasn't for my brother earlier today talking to me, 
you would not be seeing this cool, calm, collected person sitting right here, right now. You would. You would not. Because only about three, maybe four hours ago, this wasn't what you saw. I was a completely different person. And my anchor was boiling over. It was boiling over. And it was boiling over big time. Because I feel like I'm sitting here sick. And my, my, my family knows that I cannot get up and go see my daddy. But yet I'm being left out the loop. And nobody is checking on me and my daughter. To even see if we okay. To even see if we have food in our mouth. And everybody know I'm sick. <sighs> but I understand the lesson in it. I understand the lesson in it. You can't be angry. When people show you who they are. Ain't no point getting angry. You have to let people be who they are. At the end of the day, you got to let people be who they are. And you got to love them through who they are. You have to. Because anger doesn't hurt anybody but you. Being angry doesn't hurt anybody but you. You can't change nobody else. I can't change my family. I can't change who they are. I can only accept what they've given me. And if this is who they choose to be, I have to accept that and I have to be okay with that. And I have to love to learn I have to learn to love them from a distance. And I have to continue to walk in my truth. I have to continue to be positive. I have to continue to walk in the light and not allow the negative energy to ruin my spirit or to cause grief and anger and hurt in my spirit. It's not always easy, y'all. <clears throat> But we got to do it if we want a better life. I got to do it if I want to teach my daughter how to navigate through life. I got to do it if I want to teach my daughter what it means to be a woman. I got to do it to teach my daughter what it means to be a wife. I got to do it to teach my daughter how to maintain her sanity. If I can't do it, I can't teach her to do it. And if it wasn't for that little girl, if it wasn't for my baby, I'd probably be in jail right now. Because I, I really, I really would have took it to some people's doorsteps. But, in looking back, and thinking about what's right and what's wrong, living a life of in anger, wrong. Am I upset? Yes. But I'm okay. I'm okay. And I will make it through. I will definitely make it through. I will make it through. Um, I think this is going to be the end of my video. Cause I feel my nose starting to drip, so and I don't want y'all hear me blow my nose. That's just it don't even sound cute. <laughs> but um, any information that I have got about my dad, I had to get from my baby sister. So I had to give credit where credit is due. Cause I know I I know sometimes she she probably checks checks in on my videos or whatever. So. I want to make sure I give credit where credit is due. My baby sister actually, in 
I need to know something, I ask her. Because my my family won't tell me nothing. So um I'm gonna lift my head up and I'm gonna put a smile on my face. And hopefully the next day or two I'll start to feel better. Cause I got somewhere to be Wednesday. I don't know if I'm going to make it to Wednesday. <laughs> How I'm feeling right now. But. I'm still going to hold my head up. And I'm still going to put a smile on my face. And I'm going to keep it moving. So y'all be easy. Y'all have a good night. And I'll talk to y'all later.